Pretty much flip the switch and dive. And this is what they actually used to do at the start of the season. 1-3-1. One, one. Oduwana pushes in his, his respective lane. Then we have Ryu moving out to the bot lane very quickly as a, as a secondary split push. And then they all converge on the mid. Just securing easy lane for Rollup and Pepinero because his bot lane is winning. However, Blue X shows up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What's happening here, Audrey? Audrey, whoa! Are you okay? Uh, I don't think so. That's for has flash. Six minutes in, Lulex is looking to extend that, but he's on a ward. Oh, this might get turned around in the counter gang. I want to watch how this plays out. Yarn has to flash. Very quickly. Godfrey now gets knocked back into the tower. He's going to tank a few shots, but Yarnin already a little bit low. Lulex coming around the side. There's a teleport. A flash from Audrey to move away. They've turned their attention to Godfrey. He's surely going to go down as they stack four members. H2K get another. Before you can even use it. That's what's happening to Audrey right now. Look at this, he has 39 to 65. Odwanman gets bullied, but he's used to that. He's still a level ahead of Whirlip, even though he teleported to the bottom. Goes for the taunt, too. Whirlip, wow, that's a lot of damage coming out from Odwanman. Looking to take he has the minions in his advantage, too. Lulex is coming around the side as long as he buys enough time, doesn't go down, but he might have overstepped his bounds. Odo, not quite no mana, just no yet, mana. and in comes the barrel, knocking Whirlip back into the. Rest of the minions here, Odoanne looking to finish him off himself, and he takes the kill up in the top lane. Number two for Odoanne. Two is just so good because they have so much zoning potential because you have to walk into a Shen, into an Alistar that has Fate's Call to always be pulled out. You have the Gragas and you have the Ren to execute these dragons and these barons, so it'll be incredibly hard for Giants to finish second. But this is such a sneaky dragon. Notice how the bottom lane fights. But they never usually do. They Look usually wait for... They have to scale up. Like Whirlip. There we go. They Lock found up, Ryu. Flash. Three members in. He's not going anywhere. Whirlip will get a kill back on him. Blue X a little late to the party. Sneaking in. He has to punish Whirlip because he just expended his flash. Obviously, this is a return play right here. Good read. And Odoan could, could go in for the top right here. Look at Ryu as well. He's moving up. He's trying to join his team. Whirlip is out of mana. And in comes the fat man. There's the barrel. Wow. There's the taunt. Whirlip baited right into it. And they do punish that flash. Although it takes him a little while. Odoamne will get kill number three. Really good acting again from Odoamne. Any other player could have. Very easy for Lulex to move in and set up these ganks. Bot lane now. We talked about this TP play you could make. And then going for an Audrey, poor guy. They are. Odoamne comes on in. The guy is here. He's there. He's everywhere. And he gets killed. Kill number four. Now they're looking to finish off Godfrey, who's going. Audrey right now might want to go and make another post saying it's not very fun because he's getting absolutely destroyed. And whoa! Pepinero too. They just chain these CCs like it's no one's bid. And that bottom lane is actually moving down towards it. Still, there's a lot of H2K members in here. Kasing is going to get that knock up. Now Whirlip being targeted out. Yarnin, he's got the sword on. In comes the Shen. They're going to try to make this Whirlip taken down. Godfrey, Audrey now. Audrey's just completely blown up. Courtesy of Ryu, the Jinx gets set even further behind. Teach him, show him the ropes, you know, but be able to help him when he overreaches for steps out of bounds, just like Audrey is doing right now. There's the Chompers, there's the Spirit Rush. Audrey right back to the safety of his team, but not enough. Ryu will finish him off. Pepinero gets knocked sideways, and now Godfrey's on the run. Sends out the depth charge, but that doesn't have any damage. Godfrey is going down. Oda Wamne picks up another. They've just been punished so hard from the get go. H2K have done such a good job using the mass amount of CC and engage they're running to always just fall. have been utilizing their sideways extremely well. Giants have done this in some of their games, but H2K have just been the typical masters of it. Now, Audrey, there's the catch you're talking about. Finishes him off. All right. What they're doing here, though. They're saying we're not going to beat you one-on-one 2v2. So if we do get a chance... Oh, oh okay. Audrey! We've seen that before. Do you still like it? Yet another. I didn't like the recall. Yeah, I mean, H2K. Once you get so far ahead, the shot calling becomes very, very simple. It's like, what do you want to do? Oh, we everything. do everything. Anything so like, you want. Let's go pay the Baron, find that. Rise and Vision, you know if he's going to TP in. Remember, H2K is the one starting the fight, so they can always TP first. Looking oh, the one that got stopped. Ooh. Almost. One of them did take a big bite out of Yarnin's HP and the Fates Call, sending it onto Frederick. They should be able to take him down here, pinning, balling him around as Ryu takes a seventh kill. It will go uncontested right here. Yeah. And again, it's, it's just so tough for Giants. I mean, you got to try and do something to stop this Baron, but you just keep face checking into charms and so on. There's so many ways for them to start fighting. So many ways indeed. Now that they picked up the Baron, they can go full hog wild on a Godfrey. On to Whirlib. Looking now for Audrey. Ryu Spirit rushes his way over, and Audrey never stood a chance. Frederick and Pepe, the old towards inhibitor number one. They've cracked the base open. Odo goes in, taunts onto Frederick. They got kills on their mind as they take the objectives as dessert at this point. Ryu.
including the death brush. Lulex wanted. They can't even kill him. Close. They need to go for kill stuff. They are going to go for Yarnin, and he will go down. Loses that Baron buff. That's the start of something as Lulex throws a big barrel on himself. Charm not going to land, but H2K should be able to get out of here. Slow march though. Go for the knock up. Look for Lulex into room prison. He goes. They okay. will get two here. This could be the start of something. Okay, we expect you to go for this dragon because they're going to stop the recalls because Odon is still pushing. Two guys are going to stop him though. So very well played from Giant from Pepinero, Pepinero, though. Yep, goes to the skies and goes back to Fountain Ryu with yet another kill. A double onto Audrey, his tenth of the game. This guy is unstoppable. And we're back looking at Odom. He didn't leave. He's lane. There's no reason to. H2K. I mean, you got super minions. You want that last inhibitor. Second last inhibitor. Secure that one for yourself. You really want that dragon? Go get it now. Some example. Maybe this oh. dragon. Oh! oh doesn't hit really. the dragon. Yeah. So it looks pretty, but it doesn't connect with the So like, being like, oh, this can be super risky. This comp can really dive so effectively. It's what decided the game for H2K. Giants will have to go back and look at that thing. Ban phase, and then... They might die as well. If they even have a chance. Down goes Whirlup. Another pick off. They take down this time. It's Frederick looking for Audrey. Ooh. He never has a chance again. A oh, big one from Ryu as Odo comes around the side. Godfrey all by himself gets him a triple. And Pepe has just given up on Fountain. This game is all over. 32 minutes in. And all they need to do is polish it off. Such a strong uh -oh. performance. Oh, go, go, go. Go. Charm flash. Got the charm. Pepe, no. All the way out. There's the ace. It cost him a cow, but they don't mind. Nexus turrets being fired down. H2K, 33 minutes into this game, will secure themselves a win and sole possession of that third place. Top three for this team. And it's not, it's not about the cow. It's about the message. When you're at this point, right before playoffs, it is often good enough to sacrifice a couple of key members to just send that message to Pepinero. <laughs> you are staying in fourth place. We are fighting for that bye. HK one step closer now towards Origin. Yeah, and you just mentioned how Giants will stay in fourth place. It's so scary for them because there's so many teams around them in the standings trying to take that number four place. Playoff isn't even locked in for them yet. We have like Elements, Gambit, Rocket, so on. They're all trying to overtake Giants. And this loss here could turn out to be super important. Yeah, if you're watching at home and you missed the opening of the show, go to LO Esports, check out our standings because it is close. One or two wins, one slip up at the end of the season.